Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, we have entered day 197 of the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine, and we're going to jump right into the uh, the ongoing uh, tactical situation, uh, not uh, down here in Kherson, uh, but we are going to jump back up uh, towards uh, Kharkov, where there continues to be a Ukrainian counteroperation that appears to be successful uh, in its uh, ongoing endeavors against Russian forces. So if we look down here to the south-southeast of uh, Kharkov, uh, you can definitely see what has happened over the last uh, 24 hours. Uh, the town that uh, I had referenced uh, last night, uh, Bala Kalinka, I, I assume that's how you pronounce that. Please, someone correct me if it's wrong, but you get the point. Looks like uh, Russians have uh, have uh, withdrawn from that town. Uh, there were reports that uh, Russian forces were surrounded in that area, but it does look like the Russians were able uh, to withdraw uh, without uh, uh, having those forces uh, capitulate to Ukrainian forces. But uh, to the north northeast is uh, the 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 real uh, operation by the Ukrainian forces that uh, continues to push towards the Askil River that is here and uh, looks to uh, attempt to cut off or try to cut off uh, or threaten Russian forces uh, further to the south towards uh, Izum in this area. And uh, again, you can clearly see a, a salient has formed uh, from uh, a video evidence that has been shown. Uh, it does look like the Ukrainians are, are launching some, some fairly large uh, motorized operations against Russian forces. They have pushed east and again um, are, are really threatening Russian operations uh, to the south uh, in that Izum uh, access of advance towards uh, Slovyansk. So critical period of the war as we speak. Uh, what is going to happen? Difficult to say. Will the Russians uh, deploy additional forces uh, into the region to try and push this salient back or to uh, try to counterattack and encircle the Ukrainian forces that are launching a set operation? So while uh, all eyes were, were down towards the southwest uh, within the vicinity of Kherson, the uh, the Ukrainians pull a fast one, and uh, and uh, at least uh, the initial stages of this operation, uh, at least from the Ukrainian standpoint, appear to be uh, fairly successful. Now we don't know what casualties looks like. Uh, the the fighting is uh, incredibly intense, from what we understand, and will continue uh, to pick up in in, in strength uh, as uh, as the uh, fighting continues, and we can anticipate that the Russians will bring additional forces to bear to try and push back against this uh, Ukrainian operation south southeast of uh, Kharkov. And I'll try to uh, back out a little bit where you can kind of see what's happening. So again, uh, this is the area in question. Uh, if you kind of go back a little further, you can kind of see what's happening. So uh, fairly a significant turn of events uh, for uh, Ukrainian forces in this uh, ongoing war against the Russian Federation. Uh, looks like, you know, they didn't get a lot of pop in the south near Kherson. Uh, looks like things kind of stalled out there, but uh, then they launched this upper, other operation uh, to the northeast, which appears to be, at least on the surface, a bit more successful than the operations they launched near Kherson. But we're going to continue to watch this very, very closely and uh, continue to bring you information as we get it. Things are moving pretty quick uh, in this area right now, a lot more quicker than we've seen in the past in terms of uh, territory changes and uh, the, uh, the, the movements of, uh, of forces given the static nature of this conflict over the last several weeks that we've seen. So this is really kind of an uptick in operations and a surprising uptick of operations in terms of who is conducting those operations, which are the Ukrainian, which is the Ukrainian military, and obviously that military is being directly supported by the United States and uh, its uh, Western allies. But again, more to come as we watch this, and uh, we'll definitely uh, report back if there are any changes uh, to report. Thanks again for joining us today, and have a good day.